Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosie O. And today I'm going to show a small team order of a really large painting that I just love. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to your channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, and if you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. <laughs> So my Timu order kind of is already at the end. <laughs> so I don't have that as many paintings as I usually show. But I remember this painting that I just fell in love. And it is a larger painting than my usual, let's say, 20 by 20s. <laughs> so the painting I want to show today is this. And apologies, I kept feeling a diamond and I was correct. <laughs> I was painting earlier. And I really loved this image when I first saw it. I, again, as I always do, I didn't see the size of it. But once I already received it and I just saw, oh, how beautiful it looks, I was more than happy to, you know, love it some more. <laughs> so let me just move this out of the way real quick. And my apologies, my neighbors are going nuts upstairs. So if you hear something, it's because of that. <laughs> and let me just unfurl it real quick. It's just a little larger. It's going to take a little longer to unfurl. <laughs> the canvas is a little sturdy, a little rough, but I kind of like it. I have no problems with it. And this is what the kit includes. I'm sorry, the painting includes your standard kit and the diamonds. And just in case you need to diamond painting, the standard kit is always the wax, the tray, and the pen. And all you would do is press the pen onto the wax, press them to the diamonds. Once they're poured into the tray, press them onto the painting, and voila, you're officially a diamond painter. <laughs> and do not worry if the tray breaks or disappears or runs away, whichever it decides to do. <laughs> your next painting will have your back. Don't worry about it. And this is actually a nicer kind of kit. Usually it's just, as I said, the boat, the pen, and the wax. This includes little resealable bags, just in case you have any diamonds left over. And this pen is a nice, really, really pretty purple. Usually they're standard pink. I really like this. Oh, this is real nice. I like it. And these are the diamonds. So, yeah, these are the diamonds. <laughs> so, I'm not too sure. This isn't the first time I've had another painting that had these kind of diamonds. As you can probably see on the little packets from the little connected strip, they all say diamond dots. Now, this painting isn't a diamond dots painting. This is from Timu. So, and I've seen it in other paintings before that either I've never confirmed it, either Diamond Dots decided, because all diamond paintings come from China, to my understanding. <laughs> so, I assume that wherever they're processing the diamonds and all of that, it's probably multiple companies. So, it would make sense if accidentally, every now and then, for example, Diamond Dots, their labeling of their packets gets picked up and used by another manufacturer. Or I'm sorry, another company making their diamonds as well. This is my theory. I haven't confirmed it or I haven't been told. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> so, and I've compared the last one of the paintings that had these with an actual Diamond Dots paintings. I actually saw there are difference in the diamonds. So I'm not too sure if they are Diamond Dots or not. But it's all right. They're really pretty. So you can see either way, they're diamonds. I'm happy with them. And you can see the wonderful pinks, the nice purple, deep magenta. Ooh, sneaky little dark blue back here. I like that. I love this peachy color. That's why I keep looking at it. I'm a big fan of that. And a couple of the dark tones in the back. And since it is a larger painting, it makes sense that some of the diamonds are going to be a couple multiples of the same color. For example... This little peachy color has three packets. And I could tell because the I believe these are the DMC numbers. They're all the same. And this is an 891. Oh, I love that random red. It's so pretty. Sorry, I'm going to stay with the diamonds for a while. So let me move to the painting. And this is the painting. This painting as well, I got it as a lightning deal. And I'll make sure to put the price in the corner. In case this painting is more your style. No matter the size. <laughs> So actually, I'm going to roll it up a bit because as you all probably saw, it's really, really creased. And it keeps trying to roll up again. So I'm going to just roll it up a bit just to get it to stop trying to roll back up on it. And there we go. So since this painting is a little longer than my desk, I'll try to see if I can, you know, slowly move it up so you can see it fully. 
It's a beautiful mountain range in the distance with fog everywhere and wonderful hanging trees as you can see on the side on this little cliff and all over pretty much all of the left side of the painting. As you can see, those are the roots here of the tree with the little wonderful flowers on it and it keeps going. It's a wonderful little river as well. Oh, I really love this painting. I remember the image. I just fell in love when I saw it. I'm a big fan of it. And I love all the flowers. I'm sorry, I love all the trees. It's just, it is such a pretty contrast. This wonderful kind of dark pink against the white and light blue. I think it's so, so pretty. And I already see there's going to be a lot of color blocking in this painting, which I have no issues at all. It means I get to, you know, work on the painting a little faster. Excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry about that. Temperature changed and allergies going crazy. <laughs> and yeah, color block, in case you're not familiar with the term, it's when large colors are of the same. Meaning that it'd be a lot faster either if you multi-place, you can just be placing the colors in the section of that color. Or you can single place as well, putting each color and they'll all be together because they're all the same color. I love color blocking. It's so, so quick. Especially when you're working a painting and, you know, you want to get ahead. And some information about the painting, it is JL0258 and is a 30 by 60. As I said, this one's kind of big, y'all. <laughs> and it is 27 colors. Huh, that's not bad. I actually thought it would be in the 30s for the size, but since the majority, and it's not just this pale kind of peachy white color you can see here. It's also here in the trees and on the mountain in the background. There's a lot of the same color, so it makes sense why there wouldn't be so many. And for the legend, from the numbers 1 through 8, they are numerical order, meaning 1 is 1, 2 is 2. And from 9 to 27, interesting, they're all capitalized letters. And they're all in alphabetical order, so there's A, C, D. They do skip B every now and then, so it doesn't com accidentally compare with A. Eight, I believe because sometimes you know unless you're really really looking at the painting you can confuse the symbols as well and as well it includes a little thumbprint on the side on the top left and the lower right and it does the one thing that I absolutely love paintings do they put two legends in two locations so there's one here on the upper left and there's one here on the lower right myself as I probably said a whole bunch of times I spin my paintings because depending on what section I'm working on, I'm working on it and sometimes I do reference the legend. Really helps out, helps me out a lot, especially since they include a little thumbprint at the bottom as well. I compare the colors just in case what I'm placing is correct. If it looks a little off to me, I can always compare it. Even though the picture is a little small, I'm holding the paint. I can get it real close to my face and that's how I can see, oh, that color kind of doesn't match. It's right in front of me. <laughs> and yeah i just really really love this painting on um, the drill field it's really really clear i'm actually noticing that oh my goodness it is so clear you can actually see apologies you can actually see really clearly the light the lettering on the light parts on this white part here and on the darker part you can see they put a little white kind of background for the lettering i'm a big fan of that i do use a light pad especially on well mostly when i see dark dark colors i'll use it Usually I don't for the lighter tones, but I do, do love that. And there are some, as you can probably see, see if I can get that a little closer. There are some, I call them assistant circles. As you can see, they're all, all over the symbols. And I do recommend, especially if you're a new diamond painter and you see these circles, it's just for you to know where the placement will go. So it's really helpful, you know, to keep everything straight, especially if you're new to diamond painting. For Rosie, every now and then she's off, so <laughs> that's I have no problems with those circles. I, to me, as long as they're covered with the diamond, you won't see it. So it's, it's not an issue. I don't, I have no issues with it. And usually the stick on these canvases, as you can see. Woo, lost a fingerprint. <laughs> really, really, really sticky. And it holds the plastic really, really well. I'm a big fan of that. And just in case, because I'm trying to see if I can try to get all of the painting on screen really slowly <laughs> and i'll make sure to put a clear image here in the middle of the screen just in case this wonderful beautiful painting is your style as well 
<laughs> so I was actually planning to get up my large 40 by 70 painting from Amazon because I kind of want to start working on a larger one just to have it on the side. But this one is super winning me over. And I believe this one I might be able to finish a little bit sooner for it's 30 by 60. The other one's 40 by 70. Numbers don't lie. It's telling me it's a little smaller. <laughs> and as you can see, if you paint, for example, I do. I have a habit of painting in rows. So if I start in, let's say, I always start in the lower right corner, I'll complete one row and then move on to the next. That's usually how I paint. Since it's a little bit more narrow, I can actually finish sections a little bit sooner. It's just not as wide, it's more length. To me, that actually works in my favor since I love working in that style. Kind of like a typewriter, sort of, <laughs> without the little wonderful clicking noise I love. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll keep you all posted. I think I'll work on this one instead of that Amazon painting, but I really do love it. And I'll make sure to put all the information about the painting below, just in case, as I said, this painting, you're really interested in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can locate one for yourself. This painting actually is part of a series. I believe it was three of them at my time of purchase that they were different designs. I believe I've already shown one. This would be the second and the third one. I don't believe I've shown it. So stay tuned for that. If you see another, another large painting that kind of looks this style, it's because it's part of the series. <laughs> and stay tuned. I have, I'm have i looking at it more and more. I am going to move forward with this painting. So stay tuned for a kid up video for once I already sit down and find, you know, organization. So I can put all the diamonds together. <laughs> <laughs> and again, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, all I ask is if you can do as usual. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. Really helps put the channel out there. And it really allows me the opportunity to show everyone all of these wonderful daring paintings we love to do. No matter how big they are. <laughs> and again, thank you for your time. And have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.